Finally. Normal court is the length of a basketball court. It is all matted with these mats. You wear shoes. Why? Because you're kicking and running. You ever try to run and kick somebody? You think it's hard when you're just bouncing in place. Now you're running at full speed trying to kick somebody? It's not a talent, not a skill. In football, you have a football, baseball, the baseball, basketball, the basketball. This is the ball in the bat. This is the baton. This is what you're passing, throwing, catching, and running with. This is your end zone of the hoop and basketball. This is what you're trying to get to you when you possess this. Only the person that has this can kick that. When you kick it, there's a back hit to break free. Referee blows the whistle. Your team is awarded points. Pretty simple. You just stand and just kick. You jump or you swim or you jump. You don't spin. That's five. So the number one scoring technique is like a flying front kick or flying side kick. Why? Because when you catch this, you're running towards the goal post. You really don't have time to stop and kick. If you stop, it's what's going to happen to you. You're going to get kicked by the other team. So the number one scores, when you catch it, you run, and you can find the kick and then you kick it. The baton, again, you basically have three tries to try to kick that baton. Just like in football. One team starts here, one team starts there. Each team has one of these. At the end, like in a basketball game, there's one for each team. Referee blows the whistle. People that have the baton, my two teammates, we start to advance down the field to that goal post. I might hide behind my two guys. Instead of blocking like in football, my two teammates are fighting down the field for me. They're engaging the other team by kicking, by punching. I'm looking for a lane that's the opening. I'll take off, fast hit, and I'll try to score. Meantime, I can try to draw a fighter to me. Like, uh, I draw her to me, she comes to kick me. See how I throw her before she, she hit me? That's one of the strategies. So whenever you get kicked and come back and you're holding this, you're down. It's just like down in football. It's like when your knee goes down, you're down. So if I'm holding this and she kicks me, boom, referee says, boom, blow the whistle, I'm down. And we start again. If she hits me to the arm, that's not a point. It has to be to the chest area, right where the hogo is. There's no kicking to the legs, just like in sparring. Everything from the waist to the shoulders. There are some games where we do light head contact but we wear the lacrosse helmets with full frontal uh, face protection. I'm allowed to pass to my teammate. She can pass it back to me. If I drop it, from a pass, it's locked. So if I throw it to her and she hits her fingers and hits the ground, it's a live ball. Either team can pick that up and take off with it. If I throw it to her and she, nobody touches it, it's dead. Now passing the baton, what you don't want to do is throw it like this, right? It's real hard to see that coming, it's real hard to catch it. It's just a light toss, like right in the middle, a couple of passing techniques is underhand like you're bowling, or a quick shuffle like this with your straight out to something like that. That's quick. So those are your two passing ones. There's strategies that you can hide it behind your back, and you guys don't know who has it. We all just take off and try to score the other goal for us. If we battle over this, I get it. She tries to chicken rookers out of my hands and take off going the other way. You gotta hang on to a tight. If we struggle over it, three seconds to buy the referee to the lower whistle. Fight off. This goes down. We come to the fight off box. First point wins. So referee's going to say, ready and go. She kicks me. Boom, stop. The judges call. She wins the fight off. Her team gets the baton now. And they get first uh, down. We don't have the, the uh, 
You didn't know, but you're going to see there's like four red mats right underneath this. And that's the same thing as in basketball where you can't go to. So you just can't stand here like this on defense. Because the team's never going to be able to score. You got to stay off those four squares until the other team comes into those squares. And then you can engage them. Otherwise, all three guys would just stand right here. You're never going to score. There are takedowns allowed, allowed, only after you kick twice. So if she has, even if she doesn't have the baton, if I kick her once, twice, I'm gonna have to grab her and take her down to the ground. Yeah. Now this game becomes two on two, right? Because I tie her up. I tell my teammate to do the same thing. I kick her twice, I take her down. My teammate kicks his partner twice, takes him down. Now it becomes one on one. So there's some strategies and benefits to doing that. Some teams don't like going to the ground because they're not good at going to the ground. And once you're down to the ground, you can't punch them or you can't kick them. You just got to grab them. Anytime someone touches the ground like this, only you got to do is touch them. If I have the baton, if I have the baton and I slip, she's not going to kick me because that's a foul. She's going to touch me and I'm down. So if anything's touching the ground, knee or hand, don't kick that person. Just touch them, and they're going to be considered foul. Do we understand? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, if you want to play this today, I'll just get on a chest guard, and you're going to have to get one of the face shields over there. And get something on your feet, because you're going to be kicking. Right, you guys come up and get some